very happy to get the international community to come for the first time to discuss issues of groundwater and climate. Groundwater is not normally discussed. In Uganda, of course, we have tried to raise awareness, but ha by having all of these participants here, I'm sure it's a message that has been made, and people are going to say, hey, why were these people here? They must have been here for a purpose. Groundwater is going to be a very big part of our future. We don't have nearly enough people, first of all, studying it, examining it. We don't have nearly enough political will at the moment to manage it. We treat it as something unseen, and something unseen is something ignored. Everybody is going with models, with uh, sometimes it's like a magic system. We don't have enough data, so if you don't have sound knowledge of what is going on, how can we support the decision for the policy makers? Because the climate is mostly looked at in terms of the atmosphere, part of it. But the atmosphere is so intimately linked to the land surface that what happens to the atmosphere will happen, will feed into the land. There is a direct connection between groundwater and then climate change. Now we are talking of saline water intrusion, groundwater uh, quality deterioration. Things are not the same. Things are changing. It used to rain from this month to this month. These days, anytime there is dry season, even when it is supposed to be raining. Now, that is a deep climate change. How do we respond to it? All these are challenges. A uh, challenging problem now is the climate variation. Because now we are experiencing drought after drought. Then when it rains, you have floods. So all these, when you have the drought, the water, of course, reduces. And some of the water sources dry up. When you have the floods, the water sources get contaminated. And you have irmates like a cholera, you have dysentery, you have chest inf infection, and so on. The impact of climate change is so excessive on groundwater recharge. And I think this is a perfect forum for the discussion. We have people from more than 30 countries around Africa. We have parliamentarians, uh, resource managers, ministers of state, very high level uh, academics and researchers from research institutes around the world. Uh, plus, I think some of the up and coming research, you know, really strong researchers coming out of Africa. The conference was really well designed and I particularly like the participation of the non-governmental agencies, technical people and also parliamentarians. I think parliamentarians are really crucial to creating the appropriate regulatory environment. And once they understand what is really at stake, they make much better decisions that way. Areas of environment and water, and more so safe water coverage and production and development for the public are well spelled. And it is upon this that we try and do our best to make sure we walk the talk of our constitution. We are here to move and move and catch up with the rest of the world within the shortest possible time. That's what we can promise. So we need to continue to work at local scale in order to be able really to uh, advise properly decision makers. So as we study the groundwater, groundwater and climate change, we need to have um, indices. So I would like to see more of um, dissemination, free access and increased open source platforms that we can use to access all this information. Those who are in the investment and support of various countries for investment, such as the World Bank, will uh, go away with new ideas about potential investment in making use of groundwater as a broad part of our uh, challenges, meeting the challenges of climate change. As Uganda and as Africa generally, we need to come up with mitigation measures, adaptive measures, and one of these should be tree planting aggressively. We are not going to end here. We want to make sure that whatever comes out is disseminated. We are even thinking of getting a statement to take to the heads of states next week in Egypt so that they can know that something has taken place here and that really Africans and their partners want action to be taken. <laughs>